three, two, one. My name is Gil Simmons. I graduated in 1990 from H.H. Ellis Regional Vocational Technical School in Danielson, Connecticut, out of the machine and tool shop. I work at WTNH in New Haven. We cover the entire state and I am responsible for making the forecast and putting everything together when it comes to presenting the weather. I've always been a weather freak since I was about five years old, but before I pursued weather, I wanted a career to fall back on and I decided to go to Ellis Tech. Machine and tool was the field that I liked best. 30 years ago, I walked these halls. I had all of the trade behind me, I had something to fall back on, but I joined the Marine Corps. In the Marine Corps, I signed up for meteorology and oceanography. I went to community colleges while I was in. I also earned a tremendous amount of college credit for the weather training in the Marine Corps. Went to WestCon, finished all of my schoolwork, and got a job doing radio, got a job doing uh, weather on TV, and then I got this job. Good morning, folks. We are live. I do believe in what the trade school system teaches young people. And it's things that you can't get in a normal classroom. You have to be here every day, because if you miss one day of shop, you're behind. It was almost like a job when you were in shop. And I think what I liked about it was how you were instilled with this responsibility. Kids that go through the vocational system, they, I think, become better employees once they graduate high school. They have a jump on a lot of people because they learn to respect being on time and working in a field and knowing that you're part of a team when it comes to shop. It almost forces you to grow up faster. If you're a student, you're thinking, hmm, I don't really know where I want to go in life. I'm not sure which avenue to take. The nice thing for you is you will have an opportunity to get some exposure to a wide variety of trades that not only could help you make some money when you graduate because you will be able to get a job, but also expose you to some different things where you can help people out around your community. Technically, you could follow those paths and become a business owner over the long term. And even though you may not know now, you may find something you like that is offered to help you in four years, five years from now, a job and then a career. Just like it was yesterday. Just like it was yesterday.